Yo, what is good? It's your boy Dixon from Intuitive Designs, and today's video I'm gonna show you five ways to stand out as a clothing brand in 2023. I'm gonna show you brands that are doing this as examples so that you understand how they differentiate themselves industry with industry. Let's go. First off is to create a signature design style. A very good example of this is Cactus Plant Flea Market by Cynthia Liu. Now the brand is famous for its asymmetrical typography and playful graphics with both embroidery and screen print at play in some instances and then melting yellow smileys and puff print phrases have all become a signature look which also functions as her artistic philosophy where she's made various iconic collaborations with Kanye West, Kid Cudi, Travis Scott, and many more. So the plan is to create your own unique style and then take full advantage of it. This works especially well if you're a designer and you have your own vision. Another example is Big Rattlehead from Megadeth. You know, they're not really a clothing brand, of course, but you get the idea of having a signature style. Next is build a brand ecosystem. The brand that comes to mind for this is Honey Design by Mona Thomas. Now Mona Thomas has been making unusual and fun Y2K accessories for a few years now, creating a distinctive and cohesive ecosystem around her brand. You've probably seen hoodies before that went viral on TikTok or other social media. Um, they're pretty much sold out instantly even after multiple restocks. Now what makes the hoodie unique is it fits into the current Y2K trend and the cut of the hoodie is oversized with the crop look, all of which is still very popular this year. Combined with their playful Y2K accessories like these neon glasses, they all complement each other creating a clear ecosystem that their customers can recognize. Nice. Number three is unique creation process. Render pause is the good example for this. The more on the techwear, gorp core side of streetwear, and I think the most unique appeal is they combine existing stuff together, creating something totally new that you've never seen before. Just like this bag with the SD card tag, they took the SD card idea and then add their own logo to it stitch it onto the back and then creating a very conceptual product that is extremely original. Another thing that stands out is they spend a lot of effort on packaging as well. So instead of your typical frosted Ziploc, they pack the products in these ESD bags, which also pushes the tech work concept even further. It's very interesting to see the process and how something so unique is created. Next is don't be too serious. Most of the time, we always want to appear more professional as a brand for the sake of customer assurance, of course, and I totally get that. However, if you look at Chinatown Market social media, they almost always use memes as relatable content to promote their products. Especially the TikToks where the staff do TikTok trends and challenges, stuff like that. You know, they come off as genuine content and it works, you know, because it doesn't seem like promotion, especially in the current over commercialized internet world. You know, so if you're someone with a loud personality, like a vlogger, YouTuber kind of personality, you can definitely try this out. Having a personality behind a brand is a great way to build an audience and customer loyalty because there's someone that the audience can actually relate to. Last one is appeal to your niche. Now find a niche that you can stand by and then stick to it. Drop Dead is a brand founded by metal singer Oliver Sykes and they appeal to the gothic heavy metal angsty audience with some vintage macabre aesthetic to it. The brand does limited runs for each collection and they always have a concept behind each drop to push out the universes that they're building. Very much like the heavy metal music, the macabre visuals in general is an acquired taste. So it appeals to a smaller substream audience that's easier to engage and to start building customer trust at a faster rate. So find a niche with enough engagement and then build your brand around it. That is all for today guys. Ultimately, you just want to be memorable enough that you differentiate than other brands. So use these five examples as inspiration to help build your brand. Like and subscribe for more content like this. See you in the next one.